What are we doing? Happy Wednesday. How do I look? Look all right? Huh? Are you good? Hey, you know, things have really changed. Everything changes. People change. Situations change. Everything. I want to tell you a little story. I, well, I'm waiting for my entourage. I don't have any idea where they are. But I was walking down this road last night, and a car stopped. <clears throat> and there was a lady in the car, and she says, Hi, little boy. I said, hello. She said, you want a ride? I said, no. She says, I got some candy. I said, I don't like candy. Then I said, do you have Wi-Fi? She said, yes. So I got in the car. You know, things, everything has changed. Everything has changed, huh? Nowadays, all kids want is Wi-Fi. People come to the house, do you have Wi-Fi? Kids come to the house, you have Wi-Fi? What is your password for the Wi-Fi? <clears throat> Things have changed. Hey, you want to talk about change? I want to talk to you today about what to do when your prayers aren't answered. What to do when your prayers aren't answered. So many people pray for years. Never get a prayer answered. You know, people will do the same thing over and over again. Mary and I were talking about this yesterday <clears throat> when we were <clears throat> going to lunch. We were in the car and we were we were talking about this. And, and Mary's got this, she got this quick sense of humor that just lights me up all the time. She Mary, Mary's been making me laugh for 28 years, 27 years. And uh, we were talking about this. How, the, how people will do the same thing over and over for years and wonder why nothing changes. Well, if your prayers aren't being answered, I'm going to give you a step three first. Step, step three first. Do something different. If your business isn't working, do something different. If your life isn't working, do something different. A lot of people feel like their life isn't working. Maybe it's because you're not getting your prayers answered. That could be a big deal. What to do when your prayers aren't being answered. And most people, most people, they, their prayers are not getting answered. And they're okay with that. They just keep praying. Well, if your prayers aren't getting answered, why are you praying? Why would you spend so much time in prayer when your prayers don't get answered. Now, there is a guy, wonderful, I'm sure wonderful man, on Facebook. He is the chairman of a national prayer organization. He is considered to be one of the foremost experts on prayer in the country. He's sick all the time. He's in the hospital, in and out of the hospital all the time. He is always putting messages on Facebook that says, please pray. Tell everybody you know to pray. Well, if this guy has been sick for so long, maybe his prayers aren't being answered. Probably his prayers aren't being answered. I can tell you for sure his prayers are not being answered. My question is, why would he continue to do things the same way if it's not working? Does that make any sense to anybody? Does that make any sense back there? 
<clears throat> back in the office. Makes no sense. If it's not working, do something different. Step number one, if what you're doing is not working, stop. If, if this person who, who, this prayer warrior, bless his heart, if what he is doing is not getting him better, stop. Why continue to do something that doesn't work? I'm telling you what, I just, I don't understand it. One thing about us, and Mary will tell you this, if what we're doing is not working, we stop. We stop doing it. We do not throw good money after bad. It, we, we just stop doing it. We will try something. If it doesn't work, we don't spend every penny we have to keep doing it and hope it might work. No, no, we stop right now. You wouldn't believe how much money we save just by stop, stopping what we're doing. Amen. And, and you would think that, hey, that's just common sense. Well, it is to us, but to most people, it isn't. Most people, that makes no sense at all. Stop doing what you're doing. And then step number two, figure out what the problem is. <clears throat> if your prayers are not being answered, there's a reason. God does not pick out prayers to answer. He doesn't decide which prayers to answer. And so many people think he does. That's wrong thinking. That would make God a respecter of persons. If he just, if he kind of sifted, well, let me, let me, let me see here what we got. Oh, there's one from Susie and there's one from, from George and there's one from, from, from uh, John and, and there's one from, I think I'll answer this one. Yeah, nice handwriting, nice voice. I think I'll answer that one. No, God doesn't do it that way. I'll tell you what he answers. He answers the prayer of faith every single time. It tells us in James chapter five, and the prayer of faith shall save the sick. The prayer of faith is the only prayer God answers. James chapter 1, it says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all men liberally and abradeth not. And, and in, but let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. In other words, let him ask in faith with no doubt. If there's any doubt in your prayer, let not that person think for a minute he's going to receive anything from God. You're not getting anything from God if you doubt whether or not you're going to get your prayers answered. And most people do. You say, well, let's just pray and, and get as many people praying as we can. God is not impressed by the number of people you get praying for you. That doesn't impress God. When Michael Landon was sick with cancer years ago, a long time ago, I still remember on the Tonight Shows and, and, and TVs and everything all over the place, they mobilized millions of people across this country to pray for him and to just love him. They wanted everybody just to love him, and he died. Why did he die? Because their prayers didn't work. And nobody tried to figure out why. If, if your prayers are not being answered, the first thing is, is figure out why they're not being answered. Well, I can tell you that real quick. Because there's no faith involved. There's not faith involved. Somebody has got to have faith to get a prayer answered. If you have been praying and praying and praying about something and it's not working, stop. I tell people this. Sometimes you need to stop praying. Now, I know the Bible says pray without ceasing, but that means praying in the spirit and praising God. It doesn't mean constantly, constantly praying and asking God for the same thing over and over again. 
Because Jesus said in Mark eleven twenty four, he says, when you pray, believe that you receive and you shall have what you ask for. You have to believe you receive it or you ain't going to get it. Now, that's the problem. That's the reason people's prayers aren't answered. It means they absolutely are not believing that they're going to receive. They're not believing they're going to receive. So they just keep right on going. They just keep right on going. But stop doing what you're doing. Now, one way you can get your prayers answered, <clears throat> tell people this all the time, is find somebody who can pray the prayer of agreement with you. Somebody who can believe for what you need. That's where we come in. We have had a prayer ministry, I'm telling you, we get prayers answered. And the reason for it is because we tap into the power in the name of Jesus. If you're not getting your prayers answered, get some help. Do something different. Go to my website, increasenow.com. Give me a call. I will pray with you. I will help you out until you get your faith to where it needs to be. I tell people this. I say, you know, even the people in our church, they say, I've been praying. We've been praying for two weeks and I'm not any better. I say, listen, let me help you with this. I will combine my faith with theirs. We get them done. You know, yet some people will stay sick for two or three weeks. Even some people in our church, they, they come in and say, Pastor Jim, I've been sick for two weeks. I say, well, why didn't you call? I'd have gotten you healed right away. I'd have gotten your prayers answered right away. All you got to do is call. Huh? How hard is that? Do something different. Stop doing what you're doing. Figure out what the problem is and do something different. Those three steps. And, and the problem is always a lack of faith. Everything from God works on faith. <clears throat> so if, you don't, if you're not getting your prayers answered, it's a lack of faith. Figure out what you got to do to get your faith increased. And in the meantime, get somebody to agree with you in prayer who does have the faith. And I'm telling you what, you'll get your prayers answered. This is not rocket science, folks. This is not that hard to do. We can get your prayers answered. Glory to God, huh? This, this, God has not made things difficult for us. He's actually made things very easy. So, Figure out what you're doing wrong <clears throat> and get some help. Hey, tonight, about 10 minutes <clears throat> after 7, East Coast time, we are going to start this. I'm telling you, this is going to be an awesome deal tonight. We're going to talk about the, the civilization that was on this earth before Adam and Eve. And we're going to go into great detail about this. This is going to just be awesome. So tune into that tonight on Periscope. Tell everybody you know who is interested in this sort of thing, hey, you have got to see this because I'm telling you what, we're going to lay it out for you step by step. We're going to tell you who was here, what happened to them, where they went, and in some cases where they came from. We're going to talk about the dinosaurs. We're going to talk about all these prehistoric creatures. Let me tell you something, folks. They're real. They were here. We're going to tell you how they were here, why they were here, and where they went, and why they left. Huh? Is that good? So go to increasenow.com. Become a partner with this ministry. Help us send this message around the world. When you become a partner with this ministry, you have access to me, complete access. You can call me anytime to pray with you. Hey, make it a great day today. And remember this, God's Word will save your soul, heal your body, and pay your bills.